Ask Donnie. Thank you so much for joining us today, Donnie. Yes. Uh, we really have... Maybe the first viewer question or the, the second one you can I know. Up. Mine's going to wait till commercial break. It's <laughs> just for the three of us. Donnie's Donnie. great because he gives us all relationship <laughs> advice no matter what. You guys just like cut into a therapy them. session. You're I like to tell good. him our wacky stories <laughs> and see what he says, you know? But right now, I think we probably should focus on our viewer. We have a viewer yes. question that you said yes. wrote in. Yes. So, Donnie, recently my wife has been emotional and irritable. She's mad at everyone and everything. The kids don't want her to be around her, and we all think she needs help. This has happened before, and we fear breakdown is right around the corner. What do we do? Sincerely, sincerely Rob. And I, this is tough. Hard. You know, yeah. there's a lot here that we're probably not talking about. But I really want to talk about when we get into conflict, what's going on. And, and so I want to hit the secret behind 80% of conflict between couples. Okay. And this is just something that the studies are telling us. When women desire to feel accepted, when they don't feel accepted, that creates a fear. Let's call it a cliff fear. And so what happens when they don't feel accepted, you may be arguing about a lot, but deep down inside, they don't feel accepted. So well, what do you do as a spouse to... Well, you first of all them. recognize that there may be times that you're hitting on that because there's a fight or flight attack of effect when they don't feel accepted. So whether they don't feel accepted because their looks or as a mom or a value to that husband, then they're going to either get mad or shut down. So you may be arguing about something, but deep down and behind that, she doesn't feel accepted. So if a man will realize, okay, I'm hitting on this, she doesn't feel accepted, let me focus on her acceptance and not on what I think is the problem. Yeah. And so that's 80% of women tell us that's what they need and want. With men, around 70 to 80% of men don't feel adequate. Okay, so how, as women, can we help with that? Oh, yeah, you guys are like, oh, Donnie, I know what you're talking about. And adequate is, I don't feel like I can make enough money. I don't feel like I'm providing. I don't feel like I look good enough. A lot of women make the mistakes of comparing that's where I see the most popular. Like without mm -hmm. even realizing. Yes, it. yes. Yeah. Not, a lot of these fears, when we hit them with our spouse, it's not intentional. Mm -hmm. It's something that we just kind of step on their toes. We didn't know that was so mm -hmm. emotional. So a lot of times it's thanking them for the things they're doing, validating their strengths and weak, you know, even weaknesses. Hey, uh, you are so good at this. You're so good at this. I appreciate this. I appreciate you providing. I noticed that. Anything we can say to validate their strengths help with that feeling of inadequacy. And so whenever you see that conflict in a couple, I want you to look for those fears. They're generally irrational. They're not logically thought out, but they're probably, most cases, behind what's causing the problem. And if you can focus on that instead of the things that are getting you all chaotic, mm -hmm. I think you'll have a lot more success. Get to the root of it. Yes. Okay. Donnie, we appreciate that. Yeah. We hope that helps out Rob, who wrote in. If you have a question for Donnie, send it to AskDonnie at News9.net, or you can visit his website, counseling1820.com.